Ugh, I'm so hungry. I'm too lazy to cook right now, but Sally has not come back yet. What should I eat then? Oh yeah, there's a chocolate drink, but chocolate is extremely fattening, right? Okay, fine. I will just wait for Celine to return and buy food for me. Are you worried that drinking chocolate drink will cause you to gain weight? But did you know that if you eat chocolate properly, you can lose weight? Do you want to know more about chocolate cone knowledge? Tune in to Uni Utama FM for my segment, Chocolate Little Cone Knowledge. Did you know? Brought to you by me, DJ Sophia at Uni Utama FM. This segment is sponsored by Vanco. Uni Utama FM inspiration begins here. Welcome back to Uni Utama FM. Inspiration begins here. I'm DJ Sophia on the segment Chocolate Little Cone Knowledge. Did you know? So today I'm going to share with you guys some chocolate cone knowledge. But before we start, I would like to thank today's sponsor, Banco. Banco is a brand that sells 3-in-1 chocolate drinks with their enriched chocolate flavor. Banco signature chocolate drinks provide a fresh sensory experience. They want to provide the best chocolate drinks at an affordable price to their customers. Banco chocolate drink is HALA certified and contains no trans fat and artificial coloring. For further information, you can visit the Banco page on Facebook or Instagram. The link will be in the description below. Okay, let us start with today's topic. So, how many core knowledge do you know about chocolate? Many people, especially girls, enjoy eating chocolate because it is silky and tasty, and each bite brings joy. Chocolate is delicious, but it does have a lot of calories. Chocolate is on the black list of diet items for dietaries who are trying to lose weight. But today I'm going to tell you that you can lose weight by eating chocolate properly. Cocoa beans, the primary ingredient in chocolate, have been around for thousands of years. Cocoa beans were found in Amazon River region of South America as early as 4000 BC. Cocoa beans were considered a God-given food and even used as currency in Mayan and Aztec civilization. Later, the Spanish grower cocoa beans and combined them with water and sugar to make chocolate. Chocolate has long been thought of as a type of medicine. Because of its bitterness, Spanish used it as a medicine to treat illness, including stomach pain. It changed after being sweetened. The outbreak of the First World War boosted chocolate production. Soldiers were given chocolate as one of their rations after it was delivered to the battlefield. Chocolate has increasingly become a dessert that ordinary people can afford as cocoa bean and sugar price have dropped sharply and it has become a popular food. Dark chocolate is described as having a cocoa solid content of 70% to 99% and milk content of less than 12%. This type of slightly bitter chocolate when consumed in moderation will help you lose weight. Before we continue, let us listen to a PSA about Care for Cat. Hi Sophia, long time no see. Eh, hi. It's been a long time since we meet. How are you? I'm fine. Oh yeah, I saw your recent Instagram post that you have brought a new cat, right? Yeah, but I'm having some problems now. What problem? Since I own a cat, I may be able to assist you. Oh yeah, I almost forgot about that. I took my cat to the vet last week and he told me that it need to gain weight and eat healthier. So do you know of any products that might help? My cat also having the same problem as your pet when it just came to my house. 
I think you can try to fit it with 03 Weight Nutrition from Tab Cat Can Food. This brand of cat food is also consumed by my cat. This product is suitable for all cats of all ages, including kittens and adult cats. It comes in 8 different types, which with its unique feature. So you can choose the canned food based on your demand. Oh, really? But where can I get this product? You can just search the page on Facebook or Instagram. It is called Cat Hub at Facebook and c.a.t.h.u.b on Instagram. Since it is an online shop, you can get it even though you are busy with work. It's very convenient for me. Thanks for your help. Let's have a dinner together. Alright, let's go. So, what are you waiting for? Let's go and buy some canned food for your cat at Cat Hub. There's always a product that will work for your pet. Welcome back to the segment, Chocolate Little Cold Knowledge. Did you know? Let's take a look at the magical effect of chocolate. Chocolate has long been taught to make people happier because it contains teratophen, which is the development of serotonin, stabilizes mood and stimulates the production of endorphins and hormones, both of which make a human brain happy. Certain compounds in chocolate, such as serotonin, have a chemical structure that is identical to amphetamine and other synthetic stimulants. Chocolate is also thought to have anti-anxiety properties in clinical medicine. Experiments have shown that dark chocolate has a greater excitatory effect than kissing. Next, the cocoa butter in chocolate is made up of the natural fats found in cocoa beans. Despite its high saturated fat content, studies have shown that cocoa butter does not increase blood cholesterol like other saturated fats. This is due to the presence of stearic and palmitic acids in the saturated fatty acids found in chocolate. Since stearic acid has a neutral effect on cholesterol, neither raising nor lowering it, and palmitic acid will slightly lower it. The saturated fatty acid in chocolate do not affect blood cholesterol levels. Everyone's primary concern should be weight loss. Unsaturated fatty acids make up a substantial portion of fat in dark chocolate and will not be processed into body meat. On the opposite, some of the body fats and calories will be burned during the digestion and absorption of dark chocolate. Is there any disadvantage of to dark chocolate after all these benefits? Can overeating hurt the body? There are advantages and disadvantages to all. If you consume too much dark chocolate, you will get stomach pain, bloating, constipation, and other digestive issues. Of course, if you eat too much dark chocolate, you will gain weight. So it's best to eat whenever you're hungry in between meals. Consume no more than 50 grams a day and just 2 to 3 days a week. When purchasing dark chocolate, Read the ingredient list carefully. If the cocoa lime is listed first in the ingredient list and the cocoa solid content is greater than 70%, such ch dark chocolate can be purchased with confidence. Many people believe dark chocolate is hard and bitter and that is inferior to milk or other chocolates. Dark chocolate, on the other hand, Reminds me of a classic beauty that looks cool and practical but is full of charm and connotation. While it has a bitter taste at first, the distinctive fragrance and richness of cocoa beans become apparent when you eat it. The flavor will pervert the entire brain. The bittersweet and bitter aftertaste of dark chocolate may be the reason why it makes people happy after they eat it. That's all from me for today's segment. 
you are now tuning in Yoni Utama FM. Inspiration begins here. Thank you. Uh, I'm so hungry. I'm too lazy to cook right now, but Sally has not come back yet. What should I eat then? Oh yeah, there's a chocolate drink, but chocolate is extremely fattening, right? Okay, fine. I will just wait for Celine to return and buy food for me. Are you worried that drinking chocolate drink will cause you to gain weight? But did you know that if you eat chocolate properly, you can lose weight? Do you want to know more about chocolate cold knowledge? Tune in to Uni Utama FM for my segment, Chocolate Little Cold Knowledge. Did you know? Brought to you by me, DJ Sophia at Uni Utama FM. This segment is sponsored by Vanco. Uni Utama FM, inspiration begins here.